Greetings, Pilgrims. Welcome back to another episode of the Polygon Pilgrimage. And today, I have something really cool to share with you guys. So, about a month or so ago, I came across this really cool website with a really cool tool that makes really good-looking characters. They kind of hit that kind of fortnite vibe. You know, it's not too realistic, but it's not too cartoony either. And then, as luck would have it, just recently, I received an email from the same company asking me to talk about their stuff and asking me to show off their tool. Now, I want to make it clear from the get-go, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not being compensated in any way. This is all purely my opinion, and I was even asked specifically to do so. Make it, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly. Make this exactly what you would get from me from any other video. So that's what you're going to get here. So... Put rest your fears aside, I really do believe in this tool. I think it's really cool. In fact, we're going to be using it as part of the Ultimate Battle Royale series. More on that later. So to begin with, who is the company? What is the tool? You guys are probably already familiar, but in case you're not, the company is called Wolf 3D, and they were founded in 2014, mostly around 3D scanning of objects, people, that sort of thing. And they've really exploded since then, doing all kinds of amazing things. This is their website. I will put all the links in the description below so you can follow right along with everything that I'm saying and you can double check me on everything I'm saying. Uh, so some really cool stuff here with scanning that they got into. And then a little bit after that, after they've collected, look at this, 20,000 people, they've scanned it as database to help figure out how can a computer look at a human face and turn it into these avatars. So then they came out with a couple different companies here they're working with. So some big names here that you might recognize. So the big tool here that we're going to be looking at is this Ready Player Me, which is a way to create your digital persona on the web, your avatar in, you know, in the ones and zero universe kind of here. And yes, the Ready Player Me is a play on, a pun on, you know, Ready, uh, Ready Player One, which is one of my favorite books. Highly recommend the audiobook if you get a chance. Really good. Narrated by Will Wheaton. But anyway, back to the tool here. So this tool is what they've asked me to look at. Now, I had already done this before they even asked me because I saw it and I was curious about it. And I think the tool is pretty awesome. And we're going to go through a couple of videos here where I'm going to show you the complete process of using their SDK, using the tool, some of the ups and downs with it, some of the things that I've suggested. And I'll show you they have a great community behind this. So I think you'll be pretty impressed. So enough chit chat with this. Let's get into the cool stuff, right? So... Go over to the website. The website is readyplayer, all one word, dot me, M-E. And this is what you'll see. Well, this is what you'll see if you're logged in as me because it does say view my avatar. So if I bring this window over here, this is what you'll see. It'll say create avatar because if you've never been to the site before, you need to create your own avatar. Now, before we do that, I will show you mine. And then I'll step back and we'll go through how to create our avatar, but I do want to go over some of the highlights of their website and some of the tools first. So this is what my character ended up looking like. I think it's a pretty fair approximation of, you know, a digital me. Pretty close, you know, we got the beard, we got the big bushy eyebrows and the short cropped hair. And then of course, you know, like I do every day, dressed to go to war, right? <laughs> so we'll get to that. But let's take a look at the website first. So we go back to their website here. Uh, you'll notice that they're already ingrained in a whole bunch of apps here. There's so many different things here. And it's over 250 different mobile games, apps, all kinds of VR, AR experiences, even some stuff in like the fashion industry. And I think they're partnered with Dior, which is like fragrances and stuff. There's all kinds of different things they're branching into. So they're trying to create this true metaverse. So your one character, your one avatar will be present across all of these different apps. It's really cool. And this is all the different companies that are partnered with them. You can see there's just t tons and tons here. There's so much to see here. Some of these you may have never heard of. Some you can you know uh, explore and experience for the first time. And some of these might look familiar. So more on that later. So let's talk about uh, the other parts of the website we've got. They've got a blog, which is really cool. You can keep up with some of the data here if you want to read through it. Some of the new up and coming things are listed here. Highly recommend jump over to their Discord as well. I have their Discord pulled up over here. Let me bring that over to show you guys. Click that, bring that over here. So their Discord here is really friendly and nice. Everybody here is very welcoming. And they have all kinds of sections here for Whatever kind of help you need, you can suggest ideas. Uh, the VR chat is a big one. 
and then you can do Unity or Unreal, and then also if you just find a bug, which I found one in the documentation, minor one, but I submitted it to them and they fixed it right away, so they're very responsive. So you have the blog as well, and then you have the documentation is amazing. So along with the Discord, the documentation is really, really good. You can go through here and it's a step-by-step -step guide going through the SDK. Now you don't have to worry about that as much because I'm gonna create some videos for you where we will walk through it together every step of the way, not to worry. But if you were to click on these and take a look, it does give you step-by-step -step how to download. Everything's listed here, including getting animations from Mixamo so we can get our animations in. So we'll go through all of that together. So back to the character. This is what the character ends up looking like. So you can go through all of these options, which we'll do in just a second. So let's go ahead and bring over our brand new person here and pretend like we've never done this before. And I'll step you through the process. So as it states here, your cross game avatar for the whole metaverse, right? You're gonna have this number, uh, kind of like a passport here where you can have your one avatar present in say VR chat. You're hanging out, you're doing work, you're doing whatever. And then you want to jump over to a game. Cool, same same presence, same uh, person, persona in your avatar is present in all of these things. So you want to go check out some cool sporting live sporting event in AR app. There's your, your avatar again. So you can go through all these different apps and they're all connected. Uh, they will be having NFTs come in the future. So if that's your thing, uh, there'll be a chance soon here to trade and sell on the marketplace. And then you can do from a photo, which we're about to do, so we'll skip the video, no no offense intended, but I wanna show it to you, it's very cool. And then also here, as I mentioned, lots of cross-platform support. You can do Android, iOS, Unity, Unreal, all kinds of stuff here. We already talked about the blog. You can subscribe for the newsletter, and then yes, you can become a partner, that's what I did. It's free, you just fill out some paperwork, and then say, yeah, I wanna be connected, I wanna have my, my presence here, which I already did, so. Let's go to the top and let's start creating. So we're gonna click Create Avatar. Now you have a couple of options right away. You can choose a full body character, which is what we're gonna do in this example. Or you can choose a half body character, which is like a VR thing. So it will be this that you see here. So the it's called a bust from just below the throat, mid chest, up to the top of the head. It also includes hands that you'll be able to see in VR, you know, so the little hands for pointing, grabbing, waving, that kind of stuff. So that's one option as well. I'm gonna go over this one just because there's more options to it. So I wanna show you the, the most robust I can in this short amount of time here. So let's click that. You can choose if you want a masculine or feminine or if you don't wanna specify. I'm gonna try to create me, so I'm gonna click masculine. Now here you can choose a photo, you can take a photo, or you can continue without a photo. So if you just wanna create a character that doesn't look like you, you can click continue without. I'm gonna say pick file because I already have a file chosen. So I'm gonna to go to my downloads. Let's see, downloads right here. And here's a picture of me from my website. There we go, so let's see what that does. So I'm gonna say accept. And if it doesn't work, if it's too much of an extreme angle, or if you have sunglasses on and it's like reflecting too much light, but to be honest, I've given this thing a couple different photographs and I've tried to mess it up and it does a pretty good job. Now because of the, I think it's the, the trees in the background of me in this picture, it ends up with a ponytail, so that looks pretty silly. But that's okay, we have lots of options here. We're gonna go over all these options here to change that. So the first option here that is already pre-selected here, you see the little head and the color wheel. This is, I believe, choosing like your skin tone. So for me, I'm really, really pasty. I stay indoors all the time. Maybe not quite that pasty. So something like that is good. Click on the shirt, and now this is a full outfit. So at the moment, there's not a way to say, I want this top with this bottom, with these shoes, that kind of thing. I have a feeling that might be coming. They're doing a lot more customization, a lot more individual objects. And I did speak with their marketing director and he told me there is the option coming where people, the, 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 the art pipeline is very tight right now and it's a good thing because you can see the quality is up there but there may be a point in the future where you can create your own objects and own items that go into this. So if so, we'll definitely be on top of that. We'll go over that. But for now, we choose just an outfit. So you got all kinds of stuff here, different types of, I think these are like jumpsuits. There's some cool urban wear here. You can do like a music video pretty easily. So cool, this would be good for like a basketball game or something like that, you know, all kinds of different things. And again, this doesn't have to be a game oriented thing. 
there's all kinds of apps that they're involved in that are not games. So something like this would be cool if you're just doing like a business thing. Like maybe it's an app where it's a virtual meeting space. You know, a lot of us are working from home right now, that kind of thing. So this will go well with that. But for me, what I chose was uh, all the way over here, I think. Yeah, this one is very Battle Royale-y looking, you know. So I figured, hey, that's pretty cool. We'll, we'll go with that. Now, obviously, I don't have a ponytail. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to click on the hair. And there's all these different hairstyles. So many different hairstyles to choose from. So I would just scroll back and forth until I found something pretty close approximating. And I think it's this one here. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm looking better. So all kinds of options, though. You can do all kinds of different haircuts, different styles, whatever works for you, whatever you think fits your personality. It doesn't even have to necessarily look like you. That's the whole point of an avatar. It's a representation of how you feel, you know, and how you feel you should represent yourself. So for me, I'm just going with something that I know. This is kind of what I look like, a general representation of myself. Now for the colors, look at all these colors we have to choose from. There's so many of them. For me, I did make the suggestion to put um, the names of the colors or maybe a number so that it's easy to match things like, for me, I'm going to have, oh, you can scroll wheel in and out, by the way, for this. For me, I'm going to have the hair on my head, the eyebrows, and the, the beard that I have to match, right? So having some kind of number here, and for me, I don't really see color that well, so a number here or a name would really help, but I just kind of count outwards four, and that's the one I'm going to choose. There we go. Then we go to the beard. This beard is actually pretty pretty decent. Uh, mine's a little lower cut here, but this is a pretty good. There's all kinds of ones here. You can pick all kinds of things. Actually, that's not too bad. That's a little bit closer. I don't keep it so, so thick. But we can choose the beard. I'm going to go to the beard color, and then I'm going to count out again four and choose that. There we go. Now then you have the eyes. So let's zoom in. So you do different eye options. I did make the suggestion maybe more options here. Why not just all the colors, you know? If you're going to be an avatar, you know, maybe I want white eyes or solid black eyes or something. So this is pretty good and pretty close for me right here. So I'm going to choose that. Eyebrows. There's all kinds of different eyebrows here. So for me, I, they're not really that broken up, but I'm going to choose something closer to maybe that. That's not bad. Maybe a little bit less, uh, not quite angled like that, but that looks cool. Again, it doesn't have to be totally accurate. It's just kind of, I think that looks pretty cool. So then let's go ahead and do the color for that. Again, I'm going to go all the way over here and choose four in for myself. But you can choose whatever. It can be something wacky. You know, you can just do that if you want. Whatever you want, you know, represents you best. All kinds of options for like sunglasses here. I do wear glasses, so I'm trying to find some that match my glasses pretty closely. That's not too bad. Something like that. You know, maybe my character wouldn't have that if this was my battle royale character you know i'd maybe put sunglasses or something cool but there's a ton of options here including some some kind of out there like i don't know if you're dealing cards or whatever that's for you know so you got a whole bunch of options here you can go you can go a little silly you know fashionable so let's just pick one and we'll move on that's pretty good looks like my glasses yeah it does look like them excellent okay uh there's also an option here for this is like face like makeup and tattoo type things so all kinds of things here you can do some some real fantasy looking things uh even like some sci-fi some very that's a very cyberpunk that looks pretty cool you know so or you can choose none which i'm going to do for my character here but there's a whole bunch here it's nice that they have the option including some down the end here that are pretty cool there's like this whole skeleton thing this reminds me a little bit of like batman and robin it's a really creepy, like, two-faced kind of looking thing. Some pretty awesome options here. Some really good art that, that's gone into this. They've, they've done a wonderful job. And then we have hats. So there's all kinds of hats. And some of these are are really, really cool. Like, you've got some cool sci-fi ones. You can look like a cool sci-fi helm. And I've noticed that if you choose a hat, it takes away the hair. Which is good, except something like this. My hair would be down here. So, you know, that's some, some minor improvements there. Just the, the algorithm there or how they have their setup, some things like this you choose and it has hair built into it. I'd like to see an option where instead we could just do without the hair. So we just have the hat. That'd be pretty cool. Something kind of like that. There you go. <laughs> there you do what I asked. There it is. See? So all kinds of options here, even like some ball caps. Yeah, a ball cap without the without the hair would be nice. I think there's there's only with the bandanas right now. And it does interpede a little bit with the animations. 
So uh, just a straight ball cap would be good. But again, they're coming out with all kinds of new stuff all the time. If you follow in the Discord, I think it's been twice this week I've seen, hey, there's brand new art content coming. So when you're all done with your character and you're ready to go, you click this next button in the end, and they give you two really cool things. The one, they give you a really nice little picture of your avatar up here, and then here's a link you can copy to download your avatar as a GLB file, I believe, and it shows you can just say, hey, you want to put it right in the VR chat? Click here. Uh, my glasses got fogged over there. Uh, you can use these apps here by just clicking the link, or you can click to download the whole file. I can copy the link here, sorry, and then you can, if you put it into your browser, it will download it. You can download this image, which I've already done. You'll see it on my Discord. Uh, you'll see my character is now this. My, pardon me, my avatar is now this. Uh, so you can copy this link, and this link will be important in the next video we do. I'll show you how with the Unity SDK, we can use this link and bring our avatar directly into Unity and start working with them there. But for now, congratulations, you've created your avatar, you have this link, you're ready to go, you can download this image, you can even tweet about it and show people your awesome new avatar you can share across the, the multiverse here they've got going on. And don't be afraid to join the Discord, go over there and show them some love, jump in and say hi, tell them I sent you, and there's all kinds of great people here who are willing to help if you have questions, comments, whatever. There's even a guy in here who almost every day is saying, hey, I have, you know, more requests for uh, clothing. And he just posts pictures and they just say, you know, hey, keep them coming. We want more ideas so they can keep pumping out these awesome characters for us. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Again, in the links in the, in the description, I will have all kinds of stuff. There's a link where you can view my avatar. There's uh, links where you can come to the website, links to the documentation. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get an invite link to the Discord. And I'll put that in there for you as well. If you guys have any questions about it, feel free to ask there. Or you can ask me too if you have questions. And the next couple videos, guys, we're going to talk about how to use the SDK, get these avatars into Unity and use them in a game setting. And then a couple of the really cool settings that come with those things. And I'll show that to you. And then I have a really special surprise at the end and show you something really awesome that I've been working on with that. Can't wait to show you. So until next time, guys, keep practicing. Get better, and I'll see you next time as the pilgrimage continues.